Hello and welcome back to the Mosh Pit. Uh, I've sort of been on a slight hiatus from posting things. Um, not really the best at uh, keeping up to date on posting things to this channel or either of my channels really. But, um, you know, I, I, I kind of feel like I have to upload something to the internet uh, to kind of keep it somewhat relevant. But um, if you're a fan of Linkin Park, um, you'll know that a few days ago, I think today is what, the 20, 25th of July. So approximately three years and five days ago, the world lost a very, I don't know, an important musician to some people. Uh, I know that Linkin Park isn't really everybody's favorite band from the late 90s through to the 2000s, but uh, they meant a lot to myself, uh, especially later on in life and they certainly meant a lot to other people as well and I just sort of want to take a few minutes to sort of express what music kind of means to me especially you know music with uh, as deep meanings as uh, Linkin Park's music does. Um, if you're unaware, Chester Bennington, the one of the two frontmen of Linkin Park, unfortunately lost his battle with uh, depression and mental health issues uh, about three years ago, uh, this July, and it hit a lot of people hard because Linkin Park's music focused so much on mental health and um, what it's like to go through depression, living with depression, like uh, songs like One Step Closer, and I'll have to look at the other discography that they have, or the, the other songs that they have. Um, I never really understood the meanings behind their songs, like Leave Out All The Rest, uh, up until just a few years ago, um, you know, I, going through some of the same stuff that these songs are about, kind of, uh, the, the songs took on a whole new meaning for me when you know, I started to kind of put the pieces together, like, oh, this is what that meant, and this is what that meant. Um, especially with their last record, uh, One More Light, um, and there, there are two songs, the two singles off of that song, uh, Heavy and the title track, One More Light. They, they're both somewhat obviously about going through, you know, dealing with depression and mental health issues. I mean, even the first line of the song, Heavy, I don't like my mind right now. Uh, you know, stacking up problems that are so unnecessary. Um, that is, a, that is a, a truth about mental health that or you know going with living with anxiety and depression that I don't think a whole lot of people who don't suffer with anxiety and depression can really understand um, unless they know somebody who lives with depression um, or experience it through their work or whatever excuse me but I, I just don't think that you know, mental illness is something that 
anyone can necessarily understand unless they've been through it themselves. I hate to sound like uh, gatekeeping, but it's kind of true. Uh, I've dealt with it myself in the past of uh, people who mean well, but they just don't fully grasp what it's actually like living with this what I call invisible cancer um, in your in your brain um, because you know it living with such an invisible living with an invisible cancer is difficult because the only way that people can see it is if you express it through art or you know such as music and painting and um, other forms of mediums like writing um, and that sort of stuff and I think Linkin Park definitely obviously heavily focused on the uh, musical side of expressing how they feel about um, mental health issues and you know their, their music definitely helped a lot of people through some difficult times and I know for me uh, um, the one thing that kind of keeps me going is knowing that there are other people out there who know exactly how I feel, you know, who are going through the same stuff, knowing that I'm not alone dealing with this invisible cancer, um, knowing that there's people out there who've gone through it and who are willing to help fight this cancer. Um, I shouldn't really, I shouldn't really equate it to a cancer, but that's kind of how it feels like. I've seen the effects of cancer and it just sort of just takes over your whole body and just shuts it down. And that's, that's kind of what depression is in a way. It just sort of takes over your whole body and just shuts you down and just takes away your will to do anything and you just it it's not so much a physical pain it's more of a like a like in your head sort of thing um sort of a i don't know like you, you just don't appreciate the same things that you used to appreciate you don't you don't want to do the same things that you've done. You don't want to. You don't enjoy doing the same things that you've done in the past. Uh, is sort of a, a good way of explaining it. Uh, like you just don't. You you don't feel alive anymore. Uh, is a good way to put it. So um, it sort of veered off topic a lot, but um, you know this this this. It's been a long three years since we've lost Chester. It's been hard, it's been difficult on a lot of people. Uh, I, I never met Chester in person. Uh, I would have liked to. I would have liked to go see uh, Linkin Park perform live. Unfortunately, uh, I don't think I will, or it will never be the same. Excuse me again. Um, but, you know, even though I've never met Chester or anyone from Lincoln Park in person, I feel like they've still had a large impact on my life. You know, they've, they've been one of the bands that I've continuously listened to or had in my musical library over the past 20 or so years. Uh, that I've been listening to music and uh, there's not really many musical artists that I've had in my library for that long um, and I know a lot of people don't like the direction that they've moved over those years but like my whole theory is if they stuck with the same thing the same style and putting out the similar albums, they would have died out a lot quicker than they than they would have if they continuously changed up their styles and 
Um, yeah, it's another thing that kind of I think equates to mental illness is like you don't want, you don't like doing like doing the same thing over and over again, repeatedly doing the same things over and over or similar things. It, it kind of just gets boring, and you kind of want to branch out and try something different after a while because you just get so bored of doing this one thing over and over and over and over again. You know, that, that's how I felt anyway. So I don't know if that's exactly how Linkin Park felt when they changed up their albums every every album, um, or they changed up the style or experimented with new style, sounds, but uh, that's definitely how I feel living with uh, mental illness is, is constantly needing something new and different and something familiar yet different you know so yeah um, I don't know what's in store for the future for Lincoln Park but I'll I'll be right waiting to see what exactly happens so um, thank you for those who have watched this video and I'll see you guys uh, when I decide to upload a new video Peace.